Hey, greetings everyone. Today we're gonna review another really interesting album. This album is Mayhem's The Mysteries Don Satanas. That's the title of the album. Uh, black metal album. So let's just get straight into the review. So, I would say that this is the most evil sounding album I've listened up to now. What I mean by that is that uh, every black metal album I've listened had that edge to it, that really evil feeling to it. But this one, uh, The Mysteries Don Satanas, it really sounds like um, it was intentionally made that way. Because if you stop and you really pay attention to the lyrics and the overall songs of black metal uh, bands, most of them doesn't even talk about Satanism and such and all of these evil things. But this one, I it really feels like this one is more focused on those themes and such. So that's why I would say that this album sounds the most evil black metal album I've listened this far. Uh, more evil than a blaze in the northern sky more evil than guess that's it <laughs> so by evil I mean just themed around those uh, topics such as Satanism and Satan and such I mean literally the title of the album is the mysteries don Satanas the mysteries of Satan or something so yeah alright let's go back to the video something else that's really interesting is the fact that Eronimos a very famous uh, figure in the region black metal plays the guitars in this album and someone else that's very popular and popular you we could say a uh, burzum dude is playing the bass in this album so as far as, far as, uh, as i am aware all the guitars in this album are played are played by Ronimos and all the bass is played by burzum dude so I believe it was actually before they released the album is that when the murder happened then Burzum guy went to prison but uh, I know that uh, the family, Eronimo's family wanted the guy, the guy, I think there was only one other guy left in the band after that happened and I believe the family asked him to uh, well re-record re all the guitars and all the bass to remove uh, Eronimo's playing and Burzum's dude playing from this album, but well, he told the family that he did it, but he actually didn't. So I find that really interesting, you know. I prefer the album this way because then we have this registered um, piece of history, you know. Uh, the victim, the victim, and the culprit playing together in the same album. My favorite songs would be the title track, The Mysteries Don Satanas, Freezing Moon, and Funeral Fog. Those songs are the ones I enjoy the most, so the very first few songs, the closing track, those are the songs I enjoy the most. And then this album overall has really long songs. The shortest one is almost 4 minutes, and the longest, the longest one is literally 7 minutes. So I prefer... I don't like songs that are shorter than 3-4 minutes. I prefer much more albums that have longer songs. Just overall and also because um, you no know, progressive rock I like more than heavy metal. Although for the past 2 years I've been only listening to heavy metal but uh, and some other types of music. But progressive rock still is my favorite genre so to have longer songs I just prefer more. Um, so yeah long songs the vocals also they they're very unique I mean there's a lot of unique things about this album the vocals they stand out like every single black metal album if you come to think about it and to compare every single black metal album has different uh, sounding vocals no black metal album sounds the same like if you compare Burzum debut with Tetson and Gangvar with This uh, Certar Us Philosophen, if you compare Dark Thrones, um, Blaze in the Northern Sky, Transylvanian Hunger, Under a Funeral Moon, every single black metal album has different uh, sounding vocals to it. And the same thing will happens with this album. The vocals are still very shriek, shriek, shrieking, shrieking, screaming voices, but they, it, 
it sounds really unique. I I enjoy how the vocals sound in this album. And I would recommend this album if you want to listen to the most, well, as I hammered down a bunch of times in this video before, if you want to listen to the most evil sounding black metal album, it's this one. Uh, by far is this one. And, well, something else that I really enjoy and that uh, it's another thing that you can say makes this album more evil is because the closing song. Uh, the mystery is Don Satanás. It ends with it doesn't end. The whole song has a la a chanting like a evil ritual with Latin. That's the only song where I really stop to pay attention to the lyrics, and most of the song is written in Latin. So that's that's really nice. I enjoy that. Uh, you know, it's some evil chanting ritual, something like that, invoking demons or something of those sorts. Uh, I not I am not aware if the other songs have Latin lyrics in them. I didn't really stop to check about that, but that's the only song where that really stands out, and I, I really enjoy how this album ends. Uh, but yeah, uh, that makes the album much more evil. But as I said, um, the most evil album I've ever listened. Well, some other things I have to talk about. Uh, let's see. One complaint that I have, and also the reason why this album is not much... I didn't really like this album as much as I could have, is the production side of things. Uh, the, pr the sound could have been better. I know it's black metal, so it has to sound like shit. But there are a lot of in instances where the mixing could have been better. Such as the closing track, the title track, it... When the instruments stop, you can still hear the sounds, the, and the guitar is still sort of going, you know, the echoes of the instruments are still going, and then the song suddenly cuts, and it ends, and the album ends, and then, when I, for the first few times, when I listened to the album, and I got to that part, and the song just suddenly ended, I, well, I was expecting for the next song to start, but then I look at the entire track, oh, it's over. So, yeah, the production side could have been much better, and also that's the same complaint I have with Transylvanian Hunger. How the second song, I really enjoyed that album as well, if you can watch my Dark Throne ranking. Uh, one of the few complaints I have about Transylvanian Hunger is also the production side of things. When the second track happens the same thing, the song is still going, but it just suddenly cuts. You know, there's a bunch of noise, a bunch of... Um, distortions is still going on, the guitar is still playing, and then the song just suddenly cuts and ends, and you're lost. So that could have been much better, I would have enjoyed the album if it had better production. It can still, it can still have the shitty sound quality, but at the same time have good production. And, well, smooth, smoothen those edges. Um, so yeah, that's the one complaint I have. Oh, something else is that it's interesting how uh, after I review some bands and albums and such and rank them, I mostly don't go back to their music. Making all of these videos reviewing music, uh, I don't know, something changed that I can't really stop and listen to the same songs for that long. I don't go back very often to albums that I reviewed before. But uh, something that I noticed is that with Burzum, I came back a lot to the album That's on Gangbar. I mean, that's not my favorite album, it's by far This Le Setar Us. But That's on Gangbar has some sounds that I find really replayable. So I really enjoy going back to that album. But well, that doesn't matter for today's video, I can go to the middle because the review is basically over. So yeah, overall, really, really interesting black metal uh, album, I enjoyed it. Um, there's some people that say that, as far as I have seen, there's some people that say that Mayhem is THE black metal band, the best black metal band, better than Dark Throne, Bath Free and such, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, that's the only album I've listened from theirs, and that's the only album I intend on ever listening from theirs. So that was my review.
leave in the comments what what are your thoughts about this album what do you think do you do you like it do you don't like it at all leave it in the comments so until the next video see you then